Hey guys and gals, welcome to another All Stars Today's Fun Project. Well, today I want to answer a few questions I've been getting about brake bleeding. This video isn't necessarily going to be how to bleed your brakes, that's almost tongue twister. But I want to talk about the three ways that I prefer. There's probably about six ways you could actually do it, at least, if not more. But what I prefer is, as far as brake bleeding, first of all, why would you want to bleed your brakes? Maybe the fluid is old, it's contaminated, um, brake fluid absorbs moisture, I think that's called hydroscopic, and um, you want to get that out because it can corrode things internally from the inside out. So maybe you're changing out the caliper, you've got air in the system, you're not going to have any pedal pressure if there's air in a hydraulic system, just it won't happen. So you need it to work well. I prefer the pump method where someone's in the car, they're pumping the brakes, holding pressure, you crack the bleeder valve, let the fluid out, let the air out, close it and do it again. You've got to keep checking the master cylinder though. You don't want to uh, empty that because then you'll get air in the system. You got to start all over. So I prefer that pump method. Uh, having a helper is a good, you know, good way to do that. Now you can buy a little container that has a check valve. It's like a hose with it that goes to your bleeder valve. Technically you can hook all that up, clean fluid in there, pump the pedal, and you can get the air out that way, but I'm not sure how good it would work with flushing the system. So a helper is always good with that. Now I'm gonna show you uh, real quick in the video here the three steps that I use an actual practical example. Like I say, it's not really about how to break, uh, bleed the brakes, but um, exactly how I prefer it. So I told you about the pump method. My next one is the vacuum pump. So I really like this uh, vacuum pump method. For me, it works great. These things are probably about 40, 45 bucks. I mean, not only will they bleed your brakes, but let's say you're testing an EGR valve or you need to check a uh, purge valve, anything that has vacuum. Maybe I've even used this gauge right here that comes with it to test the vacuum of the engine. So the engine condition actually can check valves that way. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with it. But this one, I think this is the MV8000 is this model. And it's worked very well for me over the years. The tricky, the, not the tricky, but the important thing is make sure all the hose connections are tight and solid or you're gonna have a vacuum loss and it won't work that great. But it comes with this container and basically by pumping, you know, pumping this up, if you've never seen one of these, it draws a vacuum and this end here, it comes with these different adapters, goes over your uh, bleeder valve, you crack the bleeder valve open, start pumping, the fluid will come up through here drop into here and you're all set as soon as this gets to like a certain level here you want to empty it now if you're doing a caliper bleed it's probably one or two times per corner you're going to need to empty this they do have mighty vac i know does have a bigger one i think it's a 16 ounce container so you can always upgrade to that but this thing works great it's multi-purpose and for the money you can't go wrong it also has a release valve right here in case you want to release the vacuum and start over with whatever you're doing and then I've got this guy here. So this is also made by Mighty Vac. This is the MV6830. And it's a little bigger. It's got this container down here that screws on. And you're basically, let me show you how it works though. So you would hook, you need an air compressor for this. Hook up your airline to this part here. And then there's this control valve. So by pushing that forward, it causes a vacuum and Let's see here if you can see all that. Yeah, there you go. And it's got these adapters also that go on your brake bleeder uh, caliper release valve there, brake valve, or brake valve? Yeah, something like that, <laughs> bleeder valve. Anyway, so what you would do is hook that up to the compressor, fire this up, you have this on there, open up that valve and it'll just start pulling a vacuum. It'll suck, suck it all out here and your old fluid winds up in here. So it's pretty nice because it's a pretty big container. You gotta be sure to keep that master cylinder topped off though, or you're gonna run into air problems. It does come with that, um, this MVA6825, they call it auto refill kit, which basically you can take a bottle of um, fresh brake fluid, place it into over on top of the master cylinder and technically keep constant fluid going in there. I don't prefer to use it, I just keep checking, you know, I'm mindful of it. So anyway, that's three ways that I prefer to uh, break, break bleeds, bleed breaks. And I'm gonna show you right now a practical example real quick, some clips of how I do it. The first method is gonna be pump. 
So someone's down there cracking the bleeder, pump the pedal down, the brake pedal down, hold, tighten up the bleeder valve, then let off and continue to do this over and over until you get the air out. Okay, so I'm back here at the left rear caliper. I'm gonna loosen up the bleeder valve and just to get it, make sure it's gonna move and it is. See there, it's open, nothing's coming out. I've got Ryan, my helper, in the car right now. I'm gonna have him go ahead and pump and hold. Okay, let it go. When I crack this, let it go all the way to the floor and I'll let you know when to release. All right, so now when I open this fluid, it should come out. And it is. Now I just tighten this down. Go ahead and release. And pump again. I'll release. And then we just keep doing all this until we make sure, you know, the fluid is clean and all the air is out. So I've got my Mighty Vac pump here. Here's the canister of this collector. I've got a wrench on here on the bleed valve. I'm just going to crack it open. And then what I'll do is I'll just start pumping. And what you should see is fluid start flowing out. And then it'll collect in the bottom of this reservoir. And uh, that's another way to do it. So let me start, start the pump action. All right, there we go. Not sure if you can see it on camera, but it's starting to flow out. And it'll take a little bit of time, but it works. And it's starting to collect into our container. So you do that until your fluid's clean. Make sure you keep an eye on that master cylinder. You don't want to run it empty or you'll be starting it all over on all four corners. So anyway, hopefully you can kind of see that moving right now. All right, next one is the uh, MV6830. Hook up an air supply line to it. So we got that going. Sounds like it was on. And what you do is, like I might have explained earlier, it's got this little lever right here. Some lever. So as you push that forward, you get suction out of this end right here. And I can kind of hear that. So let's hook that up real quick and uh, see how it works. All right, crack the bleeder loose and hit the throttle right here. You should start seeing fluid come out of this part. Here it comes. I'm sure you can see it. There we go, make that a little quieter. So it's definitely flowing out right here. So this makes things a lot easier and you got this, you know, a lot of capacity here for the old fluid. And then once you're satisfied with that, lock it down. Let me set that off. Lock it down once you're satisfied. You're all set. All right, so thanks for stopping by the channel. I appreciate it. That's about it for this one. Those are the three methods I prefer to bleed brakes. So it's fairly simple. There are other methods. Let me know what you prefer to do down here in the comments section. But stay tuned coming up. I know I have a lot of guys and gals that watch my videos for Corvette material. I have C7, I got the C4. I promise you guys I have more videos coming up. It's just a matter of me finding the time to do it and I do want to get it out there for you. But uh, it seems lately more than brake bleeding questions. I've been getting questions about the C7 alignment setups for the uh, which is 2014 to 2019 model. It must be a hot topic on the forums these days. I mean, uh, as far as what the setup is and what to do and all this and that with tire wear. I promise you guys, I am gonna make a video on that and I will post it here soon. So stay tuned to the Ozstar channel. Other than that, find me out on, uh, find me out, fi just find me on Instagram. It's Ozstar with the number one after it. Facebook is Ozstar. And uh, I think that's about it for this one. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.